Hey, John Cristani here, digital marketer and tech entrepreneur. And in this lesson, I'm gonna be going over the difference between features and benefits. So I'll be using the iPod as a classic example and I'll also be going through a couple different examples to really illustrate to you the differences between features and benefits so you can figure out which is gonna be better for your marketing and how specifically to use them. Let's get it. Ooh, this is exciting. Understanding the difference between features and benefits was one of the biggest marketing realizations that I had that really made me understand how to do marketing and how to do marketing that works. And when you understand the difference, you'll understand why, in the classic example of the MP3 player, why Apple was able to build their market share so fast and so strong by advertising benefits rather than features. So there was not a glut of MP3 players before Apple. In fact, I owned a MP3 player before the iPod. And let me know in the comments what MP3 player you owned before the iPod. For me, it was the Rio. It was a huge clunky thing, right? I had to wear cargo pants to middle school so I could carry it around. The way they advertise themselves, they'd say how much storage they have. Now, a feature is something that you can't really argue with. It's a property of something. So for instance, with my protein shake, I would say it's got hemp milk, it's got uh, soy protein, and we have flax oil in it. And that's what's in it. It's in a plastic cup. These are all features of this thing I'm drinking. Whereas Apple didn't talk about features. They didn't talk about it as rounded edges or a plexiglass screen. They talked about the benefit. They said a thousand songs in your pocket. Bring your music anywhere you go. Now a benefit for this would be, you know, easily shake and mix your protein keto shakes. Easily blend your shakes on the go. It's not like an actual property. The warehouse isn't gonna say, this easily blends shakes. The warehouse that sells this, the company is just gonna say it's a plastic bottle with a logo. That's it. So features don't really sell. Features just describe a product. And the majority of people marketing, maybe 95% of companies or something, talk about the features. Windows, if you remember for years, computers advertise themselves on how much gigahertz they have. They would say, 3.4 gigahertz. And they'd hope that people drew the conclusion that this was useful. Or with the MP3 players, they would say, we have two gigabytes of memory, or we have three gigabytes of memory. And if you notice, Apple never advertises how much gigabytes of memory they have, or how many gigahertz they run at, or how much RAM they have. Apple has been able to take over the market because they advertise benefits. They advertise it's easy to use. It's safe. It's secure. They advertise it on benefits rather than features. Benefits sell, sell, sell. Now let's look at some more examples. So here's a few other examples of features versus benefits. So you could say a feature would be Greek yogurt is nutritious and packed with protein. Whereas a benefit would say choosing Greek yogurt makes you healthier and more satisfied. Hmm, different, right? The thought is, the old school marketing thought was that if you say it has a lot of protein in it, people would jump to the conclusion for themselves. They'd say, oh, more protein, that means it's healthy. Whereas benefits spell it out for the customer. They make it easier for the customer to understand what they're getting. Benefits say you're getting healthier. You feel more satisfied. A feature is saying these tissues have multiple cushioning layers and are velvet to the touch is actually a benefit. So I don't know why this example is in here. Let's skip over this example because this is a bad one. Here's a good example. This medicine has 500 milligrams of acetaminophen. Now the benefit oriented version of this is one dose of this medicine will relieve leave your headache for an entire day. That's a benefit. Another example, this phone case is made of carbon fiber and plastic. Feature, benefit is saying this phone case will never break or this phone case can survive any fall. That's a benefit. Would you rather buy a phone case that has plastic and carbon fibers in it or would you rather buy a phone case that can survive any fall? Benefits sell. So that's more examples. And last but not least, you know, I have to ask you, in the marketing are you doing, are you selling the spinach, right? I don't know about you, I don't think that looks that good though. Eddie might like it. Or would selling spinach be easier if you say, well, you know, spinach makes you strong. So advertise benefits and your business will be a lot more successful. Whenever you come across a feature, think to yourself, 
how can I market this as a benefit? Instead of saying spinach has, you know, three grams of protein, or one gram of carbs, and zero fat, think to yourself, screw all this. How can I say this as a benefit? Spinach is healthy, it makes you live longer, and it makes you stronger. And if you talk about food like that, you're gonna sell a lot more of your product than if you're just talking about the protein, carbs, and fats in your product. I hope that helps you out in understanding a pretty complex marketing subject, the difference between features and benefits. Again, this goes deep, and if you're writing marketing copy or web pages or emails or ads, try out rephrasing every single feature as a benefit. Now, let me know if you have any questions for me in the comments below. I also invite you to subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here. I do a lot of videos. Almost all my videos are on marketing, getting traffic, and getting customers. Many of my methods are free traffic methods, which you can check out in this playlist. I'll have bubbles somewhere. I just go over methods for getting traffic without paying for any ads, as well as you can learn about how to even build a website on my channel and make that website turn traffic into paying money in your pocket. Look forward to speaking with you more and join our communities if you'd like more engagement with other marketers, other entrepreneurs moving in the same direction as you. We have a Discord chat channel, we have a Facebook group, and we also have a subreddit where you can talk with other marketers, discuss things with them. Again, I get 2 trillion messages a day, so I can't really respond to everybody. Some people get angry when I don't respond to them. I'm like, dude, I get like a million messages. So use the chat channels, use the forums, etc. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Have a good day.